Hi, uh, my name is Jing Da Huang. I'm a bioinformatician working in the Radboud UMC as part of the, uh, the Netherlands Chromosomics Initiative and the Trusted World of Corona project. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about uh, our demonstrator that's uh, analyzing the multi-omics data uh, through the fair data points. And mainly I will focus on the uh, verification part of this analysis process. Um, so first of all, uh, about uh, the talk, the Trusted World of Corona project, um, it was set up during the pandemic and um, since a large influx of uncontrolled information uh, was popped up and causing the issue of um, the potential danger uh, and the trustworthy and the privacy issue of the information. So uh, in this project, uh, we aim to build a platform that um, uh, can harmonize data and be securely shared and connected and um, queried and being used. Um, some background about the, uh, the data set that we're using uh, is from this um, article, um, published article from 2020. Um, it's, a, yeah, it's a large data set of um, yeah, two, more than 200 patients and controls and um, consists of multi-omics um, data in different levels and uh, with different measurements and very complex data. And um, well, the goal um, of um, this platform we can, of this demonstrator, we're trying to show that the, uh, trying to recreate uh, the result from this paper that uh, established the link between this, uh, the COVID severity um, the, um, and, and the potential use, use of the drug, uh, the silizumab. And um, so, um, yeah, while well, this analysis um, in our demonstrator is mostly using our data, fair data cube infrastructure that my colleague just explained early on. So I will not go into in detail, um, but uh, the verification process that I'm explaining right now will mainly use the, uh, the metadata registry, uh, which is the fair data point. Um, so basically before um, the fair, before the federated analysis in the uh, fair data cube can be deployed, um, the verification process needs to be done. Um, so uh, we need to get the verified data and metadata into the, uh, the registry. Um, the verification process is um, are main, mainly based on the um, investigation study assay framework, the ISA framework. Um, for the study design, the um, different omics ex experimental data. Um, plus, we also see um, a lack of uh, exper experimental feature metadata, this, um, that um, feature metadata coverage uh, within the ISA. Um, so uh, we made additional effort to incorporate that as well. Uh, I'll come back to that. And um, also for better interpreting the uh, biological um, context of uh, the uh, omics data sets, we also need to verify the, um, the phenotypic information, which we use the uh, uh, phenopackets um, framework. Um, so first of all, um, the overview of the, um, the the assay framework, the data model, which are showing here, um, where the investigation mainly covered the, uh, the project context and the uh, study will focus on the, um, the uh, specific study design and um, or like a specific experiments. And uh, in our case, the assay part will cover mainly the analytical processes and uh, at different omics level. Um, so in this example, we show that the, um, the, uh, the omics feature, um, which lack of a unique ID, we incorporate the tool um, BridgeDB to find their unique ID, in this case, the, uh, the KB database. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we uh, capture the phenotypic information through the phenotypic uh, phenopackets framework uh, because of its uh, extensive coverage of clinical features. And so after the verification of the data, we analyze uh, um, through the Sparkle query, uh, through any, basically any uh, Sparkle endpoints. In this case, we choose the, the TNL diamond dashboard, uh, which in this platform, it's, uh, we can all run Sparkle query on different metadata registries and perform simple analysis and visualization, which um, also 
enables the uh, federated analysis later. Um, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.